Hey, welcome back. I hope we are not going too fast, not too slow. So let's uh, see in this video how you can set up get started story. So let me tell you first what get started story basically means. So the left side you see that get started story is zero, which means that I have not set any story as get started story yet. So Facebook gives you an ability to set up this get started button in comparison of writing, you know, an open ended message in your chat box. So what this will do is let your user click on this button and chatbot will know that this is the first message and chatbot will greet your users and show them the options in the menus so that it is easy for the user to understand what they are capable of doing in the chatbot. But if we let the user type something random right from the first message that will not help your users in any way. So at Parsify, what you can do is set up the get started button and for that again we need to create a story and, and just like default message the left side doesn't matter so we'll type the get started uh, story something like this. On the right hand side we will have to set up the message of our chatbot something like So I'm going to set up the chatbot message on the right hand side, something like, hey, welcome to our chatbot. Are you interested in knowing more about coronavirus? And now I want to give my user options again, like yes and no, so that my user is not dependent on typing something into the chatbot and relying on the given options by the chatbot. So this way I can, you know, redirect the conversation to a different um, option or different flow altogether. Let's remove them for now and save our story. The idea I wanted to show was that you can use your imagination and keep on building the story as complex as you want right from the get started button. So now that the story is saved, we'll again click on these three dots and that will pop up the window. And I will select the story on the get started button. Remember that unlike default messages, at any particular time only one story can be used as a get started button. So I'll set up my story as a get started story. Now you see that the story has been labeled as get started button. Now let's go back to our Facebook page and see whether the Facebook has updated our chatbot to show the get started button yet or not. And here we have it. Let's click on this and see whether my chatbot responding me with the right message or not. Here you go. So this way you can set up the get started story in your chatbots and greet the user right from the start and show them the options. That will help your users to make understanding and make sense of your chatbot very easily right from the first message. I hope you like the video. See you in the next tutorial.